Before we head into the video, I'd love to give a shout out to the sponsor of the channel, RL Exchange. Now, RL Exchange is a great way to buy Rocket League items and credits on any platform at the cheapest prices so that you can build your dream setup. Make sure to go and check out their website using the top link in the description and use code TXC to get yourself 3% off your order. In this video, I challenged a noob pro and hacker to trade in rocket league for 24 hours to see who can make the most profit starting off with the noob and in the first trade it looks like he's picking up a big splash for 190 credits Bruh. oh my days do not do this that is way above the maximum price um that is an awful trade okay terrible start and in the next trade he's gonna be buying a burnt sienna octane for 400 credits oh no it's only 250 minimum value these are the worst trades i've ever seen hopefully they get better than this and just after buying the octane he's gonna be looking to sell it straight away for 100 credits are you serious you've just bought it for 400 what is going on and this time he's going to be selling his big splash and he's selling it for 10 credits he bought it for 190 he's lost 180 credits on a big splash how is that even possible oh my days now i can't lie i'm actually suffering watching these trades please don't let this one be worse please don't say you're about to buy those items for 500 credits oh my no no, he's just paid 500 credits for three limiteds and an anodized. He needs to stop trading right now. And although it's only been two hours, the noob has to forfeit the challenge as he can't buy or sell any more items. Let's hope that the pro can do a little bit better. And for a little head start, the pro is allowed to use 500 credits for his very first trade. And I actually cannot believe this trade. The items add up to over 1,500 credits and he's paying just 500. Now, 20 minutes later, he's able to sell on his first black market for 200 credits, but it's going to take quite a while to get the rest of the items gone. Somehow, he's able to find the middle value for a cheap black market. I don't know how he's done that. And then he manages to get a massive overpay for a slipstream, giving him over 300 credits profit. Okay, I'm not going to lie, these trades are pretty good. And after two more hours of trading, his inventory is now looking like this. But here's where he makes a big mistake. With his credits, he decides to buy a black OEM for 850 credits, but it is very hard to sell, meaning he's now going to waste a ton of time trying to get these wheels sold. However, with just under five hours left of the challenge, he manages to sell on a few items, including a non-crate import, a black vortex and Draco, as well as a lime neural network. And with just 20 minutes of the challenge remaining, he manages to buy a white fennec for the black OEM and 450 credits. And at the end of the 24 hours, he's managed to get himself a white fennec, two anodized and a cristiano, adding up to a total inventory value of 2,000 credits. Now that's pretty good, but it's time for the final level of trading. And for this video, I'm going to be the hacker since I've been trading for a long time and know the best methods to make profit. And to start off my trading journey, I've given myself only 100 credits because I'm the hacker, I should be able to make the most amount of profit. And for my first trade, I'm going to be buying the Black Market Electroshock, which is worth 200 credits and I'm paying just 80 credits, so I should be able to make a good amount of profit on this item. And not even 5 minutes later, I was able to sell it on for 200 credits, meaning I've made over 100 credits profit on my first trade. And that should increase as I make even more profit and grow my inventory. And only on my third trade, I was able to make a ton of profit picking up a titanium white breakout for just 100 credits and this can resell at 300 credits minimum value. I guess that's why I'm the hacker. Now the trade just kept on getting better and better. I was able to sell on my titanium white breakout for a fire god and an electroshock which adds up to 500 credits and I only paid 100 credits for the titanium white breakout. After another 20 minutes, I was able to sell on my fire god for the minimum value of 300 credits, which now gives me even more credits so that I can underpay for even more items. And sure enough, I was able to buy a black halo for just 420 credits. And at the time, it was valued at 800 credits, meaning I can make almost 400 credits profit on this one trade. And one hour later, I've managed to sell all of my items, which now gives me loads of credits to work with. And I managed to get the best trade of 
the video so far, buying a forest green interstellar for literally half of the price. I should be able to go on to sell this for the minimum value and make 500 credits profit. After trading and trading and some more trading, the inventory is currently worth 1,700 credits. That means we've already made more profit than the pro and we still have over 13 hours of the challenge remaining. I was also able to buy a sky blue singularity for just 500 credits and it's valued at 900 minimum value. The only thing is this is very hard to sell so it might take me a while to actually get it sold. And it took me 3 hours to get the singularity sold and I took a little bit of an underpay. I managed to get a crimson octane which is valued at 800 credits so I'm still making profit on the singularity but I've wasted a lot of time. So right now I really need to speed up and get some more trades. I managed to get rid of my octane here for a black zomba and 50 credits and the zomba is already worth 100 credits more than the octane so I should be getting 150 credits profit from this trade. And luckily I was able to sell on the black zombas pretty quickly for 800 credits and a glorifier black market. Then I got the easiest profit in this video so far. I picked up a forest green fennec for just 250 credits and 10 minutes later I was able to sell it on for 400 credits meaning I just got 150 credits profit in the span of 10 minutes. Now I traded and traded and traded and kept on trading over the next 4 hours and this is what my inventory is currently looking like and with just over five hours left of the challenge i need to make as much profit as possible right here i'm picking up a stipple gate which is valued at 450 and i'm paying just 200 credits i also buy a black oem for just 700 credits which is 400 credits below the minimum value but right now this item is virtually impossible to sell and it took a while to get both of those items gone, but eventually I was able to sell on the stipple gate for 450 and I quick sold the black OEM for 1000 credits. But then this happened. Oh my god, no way, he's actually gonna give me a striker sky blue zombie. That thing will sell for like a thousand credits and I'm paying 1.1k for both the black and sky blue zombie together. That is gonna be a ton of profit. And over the next hour, I was able to sell both the Sky Blue Zomba and the Black Zomba, and that leaves me with 4,200 credits. I thought it would be fitting to actually buy a few items so that I could get my hacker set up in Rocket League, so I decided to buy a glitch, a glitched wheel in titanium white, and a titanium white encryption to go on my car. And at the end of the 24 hours, I was able to make over 4,000 credits profit, which is over double what the pro was able to make. And on top of that, I was able to make this really sick setup. But anyway, that is going to bring us to the end of the video. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications and i'll see you in the next one peace out